There was no room for the faint-hearted in this fiercely contested match, both sides with chances to go ahead in the first half. Mark Miller's effort was well wide though. Fifteen draws this season for the Pars, they were desperate for a win and they tested Dundee keeper Robert Douglas early on. At the other end, Lee Butler was called into action. Dundee's Gavin Ray provided the cross, but Butler was equal to Willie Faulkner's diving header. Robert Douglas, though, was having a busier time of it, again thwarting Dunfermline's effort with another fine save. Dundee had the chance to go ahead moments later. This time Ian Anderson crossed the ball, but Faulkner was unable to beat the Dunfermline keeper. Then Dunfermline thought they'd scored. Scott Thompson found Owen Coyle, but Coyle's close-range shot was somehow blocked by Douglas. Then Dunfermline did get the breakthrough. Owen Coyle picked up the pass and managed to make the space, but his shot was blocked, only to come out to Scott Thompson, who fired at home for his first goal for Dunfermline. A delighted Thompson, and the pars were 1-0 up. It was Owen Coyle who broke through. He found his way past Stephen Tweed, only to be stopped by Douglas. And what a very important goal by Scott Thompson. Dunfermline could have been 2-0 up in 77 minutes. Owen Coyle set up Andy Smith, but incredibly, Smith shot wide of the post. And he can't believe he's missed either. Dundee were still in the game and almost equalised in 82 minutes, but Faulkner's header was well saved by Butler. And then the goal which clinched the game for Dunfermline. Coyle found David Graham, who picked his way through the Dundee defence and shot brilliantly past the Dundee keeper. Another superb Dunfermline goal. It was also David Graham's first for the club and Dunfermline were heading for three very valuable points. But while everything was going for Dunfermline, there were more problems for Dundee in injury time as Darius Adamchuk was red carded for a second bookable offence. A disappointing day for Dundee, but Dunfermline with a very important win indeed and a warning to the rest of the league that they'll fight all the way to avoid the drop.